Sydney. Sydney is the capital of the Australian state of New South Wales. With a population of over 4 million people, it is Australia's oldest and largest metropolis. Sydney is situated around a massive harbour and is home to numerous tourist sites, as well as beaches, bays, and a few of national parks. The British first arrived in Sydney in 1770, when Captain James Cook and Joseph Banks sailed the Endeavour into Botany Bay. The first fleet arrived in Botany Bay in 1788, led by Governor Arthur Phillip. Philip, however, found Botany Bay unappealing and sailed north, landing at Sydney Cove on Sydney Harbour. Philip dubbed the settlement New Albion, but it was later renamed Sydney, after British Home Secretary Thomas Townsend, Lord Sydney. Sydney's style is influenced by a variety of factors. Aboriginal sites and engravings from the original occupants, the Yara tribe, can still be seen. The city features an Anglo-Mediterranean style as well as a growing Chinese and Asian influence. The Sydney Harbour divides the city into north and south, with the Sydney Harbour Bridge and Tunnel connecting the two. The majority of the city's tourist attractions are in the south, with a considerable business and residential district in the north. The Rocks and Circular Quay are located to the north of the city, and the central station is located to the south. Darling Harbour is to the west, while a variety of parks are to the east. David Jones, the country's most prominent department store, is located on the junction of Market and Elizabeth Streets. While visiting this fantastic store, don't forget to check out their equally renowned Food Glorious Food department. You can select one of their numerous culinary delights before strolling over to Hyde Park for a picnic. Sydney's History Sydney was formed in 1788, when the first fleet from England arrived in Australia. A fleet of 11 ships set off from Portsmouth, England, on May 13, 1787. On board were 759 convicts, the majority of whom were men, who were guarded by sailors and marines. They brought seeds, farm implements, livestock such as cattle, sheep, pigs, goats, horses, and chicks, as well as a two-year supply of food. On January 26, 1788, the first colonists arrived at Port Jackson. Captain Arthur Philip commanded them, 1738-1814. Sydney was named after Lord Thomas Townsend, 1733-1800. In 1783, he was appointed British Secretary of State and advocated that the British establish a colony in Australia. Things were difficult at first for the colonists, and food was scarce, despite Philip sending a ship to South Africa for fresh provisions, which returned in May 1789. Food was rationed, and the rations were far from generous. Things did, however, progressively improve. A second fleet arrived in Australia in 1790, followed by a third fleet in 1791. Initially, Sydney's inhabitants lived in crude timber huts, but subsequently convicts produced bricks for buildings. Sydney's first church was built in 1793. Thomas Barrett was the first person to be hung in Australia on February 27, 1788, for stealing food. And Davis was the first woman to be hung in Australia on November 23, 1789. Cadman's Cottage, erected in 1815-16 as a coxswain's barracks, is Sydney's oldest surviving structure. It was named after a former resident called John Cadman. Today, Cadman's Cottage serves as a National Parks and Wildlife Service Information Centre. Sydney in the 20th Century Sydney's tremendous expansion continued throughout the 20th century. Sydney had a population of 481,000 people by 1900. By 1921, it had risen to 981,000, and by 1950, it had risen to about 1.7 million. 
Sydney had a population of over 3 million people by 1975. The number of manufacturing jobs in Sydney fell in the late 20th century. However, the service industry grew, and Sydney is now Australia's primary commercial and financial centre. Sydney is also a significant port, although most of the cargo goes through Port Botany. Sydney is, of course, a popular tourist destination nowadays. In the late 20th century, many new museums opened. The Sydney Tram Museum was established in 1950. It moved to its present site in 1988. The Powerhouse Museum first opened its doors in 1988. Sydney Jewish Museum established in 1992. Queen Elizabeth II dedicated the Sydney Opera House on October 20, 1973. Jorn Utzon, 1918 to 2008, a Danish architect, won an international competition to design the Sydney Opera House in 1957. However, it took 14 years to complete, and Utzon retired in 1966. Michael Nelson Giacomera created a mural named Possum Dreaming to the Theatre in 1988. UNESCO designated the Sydney Opera House as a World Heritage Site in 2007. Today, the Sydney Opera House is arguably the city's most recognizable landmark. Sydney in the 21st century. Sydney thrived in the 21st century. Aurora Place was constructed in 2001. Sydney hosted the Olympic Games in 2000, and the Ian Thorpe Aquatic Centre opened in 2007. Meanwhile, the Rocks Discovery Museum first opened its doors in 2005. Sydney is becoming a multicultural metropolis with numerous immigrants from both Europe and Asia. It is without a doubt Australia's largest metropolis. Sydney has a population of 4.6 million people now. Ten interesting facts about Sydney, Australia that you probably didn't know. 1. Vivid Sydney's Magic Vivid Sydney, a light festival, is one of Sydney's most magnificent annual spectacles. From May through June, the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge are transformed into works of light art for visitors and Sydneysiders, Sydney locals, to enjoy. The celebration also includes lit koala bears affixed to tree trunks, light up stepping stones, and other attractions. 2. Sydney has over 100 beaches. It's difficult to know where to start when it comes to the top beaches near Sydney. Choose from over 100 beaches throughout the city to participate in exciting water sports including as surfing, diving, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, and jet boat rides. 3. One of the world's tallest steel arch bridges. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the world's longest steel arch bridges, reaching around 1,650 feet, which is especially amazing given that it was completed in the 1930s. The bridge now has eight traffic lanes, rail tracks, a pedestrian promenade, a cycling path, and a set of stairs leading to the arch's centre. 4. Sydney is a cultural mecca. Sydney is one of the world's most global cities. Over one-third of Sydney's population was born abroad, and almost half of its residents are first- and second-generation immigrants. The western suburbs are especially varied. For example, in Parramatta, a city in the greater Sydney area, half of the population speaks a language other than English. 
5. The world-renowned Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House is one of the world's most well-known structures. Jorn Utzon, a Danish architect, created the structure, which was finished in 1973 after 16 years of construction at a cost of more than 100 million US dollars. This famous monument characterizes the Sydney skyline and is one of the world's best performing arts venues. Because of the Sydney Opera House's vast size, 15,500 light bulbs are changed every year. Six, Sydney's iconic Sydney Tower. For the past 30 years, the Sydney Tower I, often known as the Sydney Tower by Sydney Siders, has been a vital feature of the famed Sydney skyline. The world-famous Sydney Tower stands 1,014 feet tall and is the Southern Hemisphere's second-highest observation tower. A revolving restaurant sits atop this amazing tower, giving it an exciting location to dine. 7. Sydney is the first major city in the world to welcome the new year. Another interesting fact about Sydney is that, because of its proximity to the international date line, it is always the first major city in the world to welcome the new year. Sydney is famous for its amazing New Year's Eve fireworks display, which lasts 85 minutes and lights up the night. In fact, it is so well known that each year, over a billion people throughout the world congregate around their televisions to watch it. 8. The World's Largest Natural Harbor Sydney Harbor is also the largest natural harbor in the world. The harbor has a single entrance and spans 11 kilometers. Because of its immensity, Sydney Harbor is home to various wildlife and sea species, including grey nurse sharks, weedy sea dragons, Australian fur seals, bottlenose dolphins, and green sea turtles. 9. What causes the Blue Mountains to be blue? Did you know the Blue Mountain received its name from the blue color it takes on when viewed from afar? The Blue Mountains get its blue color from the dispersion of volatile oils generated by the eucalyptus trees that blanket the mountains. These oils, when mixed with light, dust, and water vapor, provide the blue tint and characteristic color of the mountains. A trip to the Blue Mountains also includes the opportunity to discover waterfalls, valleys, and harsh sandstone tablelands. 10. The World's Largest Sculpture Exhibition Sculpture by the Sea, Bondi, was founded in 1997 and is the world's largest free, public sculpture display, featuring over 100 works by international artists. The city of Sydney converts the stunning 1.2-mile Bondi Beach to Kuji Promenade into a temporary sculpture park for anyone to enjoy in late October. For good reason, Sydney is the first stop on many Australian itineraries. It's an inviting mix of intense and relaxing activities, and the city's energy is complemented by stunning beaches. Sydney, Australia, boasts numerous stunning features, including its scenery and frequent sunny days, making it one of the most interesting cities on the planet. There are numerous reasons to visit Sydney, from the renowned Opera House to the breathtaking Harbour Bridge. Thank you for being with us.